All right, we're back. And first things first, I'm going to be buying a Fury because I can always sell it back. It, it's an item that barely changes in price and it is very good. And I'll be using it for a Slayer grind probably tomorrow because I'm doing a 24 hour stream. Pretty good upgrade. Now we're going to go do some quests, Swan Song first, and then we're going to be finishing the Pirate series. So wish me luck, guys. Suck my ass. Troll Queen, and all of a sudden all these players spawn. That's so weird. I don't remember that part, but. Alrighty, there you go. All that experience. Got 10,000 prayer, 15,000 magic for that, 25k GP, and 10,000 fishing. And now I can. Oh, okay, we got 48 prayer from that. Nice. 63 magic as well. All right, I'll take that. Um, so now I have access to this place. I can fish monkfish if I want, which I'm not going to, honestly. I'll just AFK barbarian fishing instead, probably. But it's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm on the Arceus spellbook, and I can do the reanimate spells. So these are all the heads I had from, like, General Slayer. I'm going to track what experience I get, see how long it takes. I've never really done any of these methods before, so... Okay, we just finished with... Wow, the last one got me 50 prayer. Perfect. For the stopwatch, uh, it took me about six and a half minutes to do all of that. And let's see how much experience we got. Uh, so we got 14k prayer in six and a half minutes, uh, 1,000 HP, 3,000 strength, and 1,600 magic. You can roughly times that by 10, basically, because I kind of didn't know what I was doing. So uh, yeah, it was 140k prayer an hour, 10k HP per hour... 30k strength per hour and 16k mage. So that's pretty good. This is oh, I'm gonna die actually. I need to. Oh my god, I don't, I don't have a safe teleport. I'll just have to pick up my shit here, wherever I am. Nice. Yeah, I, I was unaware that the reanimated cow fight actually poisons you. So we're not doing cow fights whenever I train prayer. That's for sure. Fuck that. Okay, well now that we have that done, let's work on <laughs> the uh, questing grind again. I killed the Troll King, got the head, and now we have the Fremenic Isles complete. Let me turn in Strength Experience, just because I want to rush 70 Strength. So we got 42 construction from that, that's pretty cool. That actually does mean we can make the uh, stash units for medium clues. Uh, at 55 I can do hard clues, so I think I'm going to start making them once I get 55 construction. I actually might rush that sometime because it's not too far. Because uh, I do want to keep on clues, they were really fun. Um, Anyway, though, let's grab my uh, PVM gear and let's see what I look like now. So with, with all my optimal... Where is my character going? Hello? Let's go outside the gate. So uh, this, this is the uh, epitome of what I used to use all the time back in the day. I mean, Rune Defender, obviously, but... Yeah. So sick. So for the difference between the, the helmets... It's the same strength bonus, but I get the prayer. And then slightly better defense with the magic defense. So... It's not a huge upgrade, but it is still an upgrade. So now I can sell this um, other helmet. Got the rum deal quest done. I should have done this a long time ago for the prayer experience because it's 7k, 7k fishing, and the best skill, 7k farming. So now we are going to go do cabin fever, which I remember being gross. I don't like the cannon part, but other than that, it's not that long of a quest, if I remember correctly. Thank you, Mr. Bill. We finished the cabin fever quest. Which I forgot we actually get smithing experience for that. Crafting and agility. Interesting. So we're very close to a smithing and an agility level. And uh, if I talk to him after the quest, I also get 10k GP, which, you know, that, that breaks the bank. So uh, the good thing about this quest is I can now do cave horrors and get them as tasks, which uh, I was able to do that once I had 58 Slayer. So I'm planning on doing a Slayer grind very, very soon because I kind of want to go get 67 so I can boost up and kill a Skeletal Wyvern for the Falador hard tasks. I don't know if I mentioned that. If I did, I'm sorry. That's the whole goal. So on the way from 59 to 67, I'm sure I might get a Cave Horror task um, one of the times and then maybe get my own Black Mask, make some bank. Uh, so that's why that's good to have this quest done. And then I also needed this quest done for a few uh, task sets. I'm sure I have to kill a Cave Horror or something for the Mauritanias. Uh, I'm sure it's something like that. Uh, yep, kill a cave horror. So that was interesting, but we are done. Great brain robbery that took way too long than it should have because I was just I lost my mind during the quest. And we have a lamp for five thousand experience in any skill, I believe. Yep, five thousand runecrafting. Thank you. And we are done with the pirate series. And I did a hard Mauritania task up here. If I show you guys right here. So I planted some watermelons. Hopefully they don't die. 
If they don't die, then I can harvest them for the hard Mauritanias, which obviously I'm working on. All right, we're starting our Bloodveld task, and there are mutated Bloodvelds in the catacombs that I actually didn't even know existed. They have a lot more HP, very low defense, so I can... This is really good strength training, really, for my Slayer task. I'll be hitting 60 during it, easily, and uh, I'm just praying it uh, with my Proselyte and stuff. 25 prayer bonus, if you're wondering. And obviously that might get a bit spendy, but they have decent drops, so it'll pay for it. And I'll try to pray flick like whenever I'm paying full attention, but I'll probably just enjoy this task. So I don't really mind. I will still profit. So there you go. I just finished the uh, right here, Barrier Soul Quest. I mentioned that last time around when I got the Arceus Favor finished. You had to go get a book from the library. And now I have the Soul Bearer. Now this thing is a little interesting because... I can charge it with uh, Blood and Soul Runes, if I do that. I have 12 charges now, right? So what that does is it will bank insold heads. And for tasks that I'm there for a very long time, that might be very useful, because I might get a lot of heads. So I'm currently doing the Blood Veil task, like I said. I got a head during that, so this might be nice to have. I also brought my Holy Wrench. I totally forgot that existed, even though I got it yesterday. Look at that beautiful number. 60 Slayer does mean I can now do Aberrant Specters. I still have yet to spawn a superior creature, and I'm very sad about it. I spent all those points on it and still haven't even seen anything. I would like to see a Bloodveld one. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, shit. We just got the Dark Totem middle. That wasn't even a superior. Nice. So if we do get a superior, I can finish my first totem. We were just talking about Ancient Shards. Hell yeah. I was talking about the Arc Light and how to get it and stuff. Here we go. Get another fucking shard. I think that's number four. So we can actually go make the Arc Light sometime. Probably hold off on it yet. But sick. Already a totem and an Ancient Shard in this task. Uh, yeah. That was pretty good. I think if I... I think I used seven prayer pots total. So that would be... Oh, I'm getting attacked. Let me, let me price check how much how much I used. So 7 times 9k, so what is that? I can do that in my head. Like 63k uh, I spent on prayer potions. The supersets probably was like 6k. So let's say we spent 70k on the task. This is how much we profited. Uh, minus the Ancient Shard and Dark Totem Middle, because can't really price check that. Really, we made 125k in Elks. 350 Blood Runes. I also charged my Soul Bearer with like 20k worth of stuff. And then all this other garbage that I haven't elked yet. Yeah, I mean, 220k GP task. I will take that. Alright, well, I kind of jinxed myself into that. So we're gonna... I don't want to do any types of uh, metal dragons, really. I can maybe do bronze, but I'm just not even gonna try it. So we're gonna... We're gonna cancel that task. It would take far too long. Ain't about that life. Hellhounds, perfect! Because I'm, uh, I'm not paying attention. I just hit 70 strength. So that means we're training attack now. Gotta get that whip. And my prayer drop, too. Wow, I'm greatest slayer ever. Oh my god. We're done. We are done. Let's click level up. Alright. Thanks for all the help, guys. Uh, there was a lot... Alright, I lent this... I uh, lent my friend a decent... Anyway. There was a lot of people that I have, I'd have to thank. Um, way too many. But we have finished. Barbarian Assault. I didn't make any clips about this, but I did mention it a few episodes ago, especially when I get the uh, when I got the Fighter Torso, that we would go and finish all level 5 rolls for the Elite Kandarin tasks. I have nowhere near the levels for that, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to get it done early. So as you can see, we're level 5 Defender and ready to buy the remainder. This literally took me since 3.40pm my time and now it is 3 in the morning, so almost 12 hours. Well, you could probably say it was like 9 to 10 hours because there was a lot of breaks for farming and finding team members. And yeah, it was just all over the place, man. It was, it was bad. So attack, leveled up. Collector, leveled up. And finally, healer. Uh, I should have all four of them mastered now. So uh, is, is that the task over or what? Did I do something wrong? Oh, okay. I just had to look... I just look at that. All right, we are done with Barbarian Assault pretty much forever. I don't really think I'll ever come back here. The fighter hat is kind of cool, but I hate this minigame uh, after doing all of that. So, yeah, isn't it sad doing like 12 hours of work for like a minute clip? I know, right? What a, what a voice crack. Okay, look at this, guys. After a few more herbs. Yep, 85. Oh, well, there goes the message. 85 farming. I haven't really shown any levels lately, but we have obviously been farming. 
Uh, I'm currently on a 24-hour stream. That's why we had the uh, time for the Barbarian Assault. And that means we are farming Torch Dolls right now. I will show you guys the profit of that uh, whenever it is done. I mean, I'm going to do five runs of them, and I'll show you guys the profit. I'm kind of interested. They're really fluctuating right now, so it might be better just to hop back to Lantadimes. I want to try out Torch Dolls, though, and see if they're good, because if they are, then it's really good experience that way. Ugh, oh, look at that. Clue scroll. All right, I was actually about to finish this task. But considering I want to maximize the chance of clues, I am going to go do this quick and come back and finish 21 after. May as well. I might get another clue. Yeah, so we're going to drop this clue because I need to wear a crozier or whatever that's called. And that requires 60 prayer. So now I have this in the bank for no fucking reason. All right, well, I'll use that when I'm 60 prayer. That sucks. I'm a very sad boy now. Okay, I actually just unlocked this task from the rum deal quest. I don't think this task is all that bad. I don't remember it being terrible. That's what I'm talking about. Banshees again? This is going to take forever to do the task, but easy range experience. And actually decent hard clues like last time. Yes, that's what I want to see. Another hard clue. Can we get some redemption on this one? All right, I call that casket. The timer says 11 minutes. I usually finish these around that amount of time, so not bad. What are we getting? All right, well, I saw the teleports. And I'm like, yes, money has been made. But eh, they're probably one of the cheaper ones, I would assume. Eh, wow, they're actually 9k each. Okay, I'll still take that. 74k, can't complain about that. Better than <laughs> me having to drop the clue from earlier. <laughs> I literally start the trip. After the clue. Get an ancient shard. I think that's number four now. I'm pretty sure. Finally. Oh my god. It has been so long. Okay, so I bought that superior thing, right? The superior Slayer Monsters reward from Slayer Points a long time ago. And I finally got one. It's apparently one in 200 from any Slayer Monster to spawn a superior if they have them. It's been probably like over a thousand creatures at this point. Finally. Let's see what this bad boy can drop. I mean, I'm guaranteed a totem, which means I probably should go bank. I forgot the other two totems in my in my bank because I think you have to make the actual totem to get an, to get more pieces, I believe is how it works. All right, cool. Dark, dark totem top. I will take that. I bring the totem pieces together and I have my first dark totem. So that's going straight into the bank. Obviously, I don't have the levels for... Scotiza yet, but I'll probably just keep on um, collecting these. I do want to go for the pet eventually, and then also the purple Slayer Helm. I think that one's the coolest looking in terms of the color, um, the options that you have for Slayer Helm. So I don't know. I don't know when I'll have like the general stats for this, but I think it'd be kind of cool to like stack a, a good amount of them before we even jump on Scotiza. Considering I'm a main account, so it's not like I need certain items from it, right? I guess if like if I was an Iron Man, but yeah, we're at five shards. I only need three for the arc light. So if I get another one, I have an arc light plus a thousand charges. This is what my fiftieth task in a row is. I don't even know what these are. Yeah, so these are Molinisks. Uh, you use the Slayer Bell to like free them from the wall, and then they attack you. Yeah, they're they're garbage. Good thing I have the. Uh, the good old expeditious bracelets with me, as usual. There you go. 50 tasks in a row completed, and that puts me up to 380 total points. Got 150 for that. Damn. Yeah, so if I go... There should be Slayer Rings in here, right? Ring Bling. Learn to craft your own Slayer Rings. Okay, confirm. Yay. Woo! Okay, well, we have... A bunch of Slayer Rings now. Nine of them for now. So this is the main reason why we got the Slayer Ring in the first place. Is I could skip the whole maze part of the Tarn Razzalor mini quest. We got the five Slayer, 5k Slayer from getting the boss kill. And now I just have to take this diary. And I can now enchant my Salve Amulets to make them 20% instead of 15%. I still have to imbue them to make them work for magic and ranged, but still pretty nice regardless. Okay, I wasn't expecting really anything this task because Greater Demon's drops are actually bad, but we got a hard clue. Let's go do that. Okay, another casket for another meh reward probably. 
Oh, okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. We got a master clue in a relatively relatively good clue. We got 110k, not bad. So this master is probably going to be a throwaway. I won't have the levels, but because it's a master, I feel like it'd be kind of a cool thing to like go for it, right? So if I get like a skill level requirement or an item, it'd be kind of cool to go for. So first thing is between... Wait, what? Uh, so I talked to somebody. Okay, first master clue step. It's just a Cerberus puzzle box. This is doable. This is doable. Okay, clue step number two. I have to talk to Joral. Oh, okay, so it's the hot and cold step. All right, cool. All right, so I found the spot. I teleported the watchtower. I was pretty lucky, and I found it that it was pretty hot. So it's this location. Uh, a Braskin wizard or three ancient mages are going to spawn. I don't really know how... How it's going to work out if I die, I die. The Prasican one, I'll uh, prayer doesn't matter. I think the mage's prayer matters, so let's just pray mage. I, I think. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I can always emergency tell you. Oh, I didn't mean to feel it. Sorry. Okay, it is, it is the Braskin one. All right, good luck. Good luck, me. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Keep in mind, guys, I am literally 63 ranged, so... I don't know what I'm doing here. I think it has a max hit of a 15. Uh, I might have to bank and bring more shark, you know. And I, I know of the method where you bring a cannon and you kind of save spot. I know of that method. I just don't have a cannon. Look at that 23. Suck my ass. There you go. All right, can I do it? Please stop smacking. Just let me get the kill. We're almost there. Come on. 21 more. 21 more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Six more damage. Oh, uh, I guess it was one more damage. We got it. Yes. All right. 63 fucking range. Oh, all right. Third step, master clue. That's that's pretty hype for for what I'm doing right now. Uh, so ch are you kidding me? No, I need black dehyde. Oh no. It pushes us to go get 70 ranged, which I will get just through Slayer. So I'll keep that in my bank. It's not like I'm going to get a master anytime soon. That was cool. That was a good run. Hell yeah. Okay. We just had a wilderness clue, and we have the casket now. Oh, for a second, it actually looks better than it did. I remember that being a lot of money. Uh, I, well, I think the black one was more money, but... Well, my wildest dreams have come true. 19 bronze dragons. Wow. I just got three wilderness clues in a row. The third one is the one I just had earlier in the episode. Yay, the one I have to fucking drop. Because 60 prayer, wow, ha. Huh? Nice nice joke, dude, nice fucking joke. All right, I think that is it for this video. Now, if this video is a lot longer than uh, usual, it makes sense because I had a 24 hour stream and we did so much. I, it could have been longer, but I just decided not to talk about the Barbarian Assault too long because I mean, it's not interesting to you guys, I'm assuming. But man, it was probably one of the most tedious grinds ever. Oh, Lord. And of course, we have a lot of grinds we got to jump on now. 70 ranged, you know. Still going for the 69 Slayer, all that good stuff. But one thing that uh, I want to address is I have not shown you guys my bank value, like, explicitly, since episode, like, 5 or some shit like that, right? And I said I would show you guys every now and then. So it's been long enough, I feel like. So here we go. Now this this value thing is not super accurate. It like some items are completely fucked, and I would have to go individually and check that. So it says I have a 12 mil bank, which I I could definitely believe, because if we look at my gear tab, this is five mil. I have a fury, and then another big tab is the teleports tab, and it also has all my seeds and whatnot. I got my supplies for tour stalls. I got another good stack for maple longbows. I got an elk. If you guys are wondering how I'm getting so much money so quick, you guys are watching all the farming gains, right? That's literally it. People on my stream keep asking, like, dude, where are you getting all this money? Are you transferring money? Are you swapping? No. Pretty much all of it's just from the herbs. You make so much freaking dough from that. But yeah, I think a 12 mil bank in a little bit over a month and this 12 mil total experience, 14, 15 total, 222 quest points. Fantastic progress. Again, a lot of this was on a 24-hour stream, so if you want to watch something like that, 
definitely check out the link in the description. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.